Jennings put the bomb up. You've been waiting three years for the 2007 Rugby World Cup. Witness 20 nations doing battle for the right to be crowned world champions. And only one man can take you there. That guy and his expert team will bring you all the blow-by-blow -blow action, the stats and the facts. Straight shooting, they tell it how it is. Travel with them to France and be part of the amazing spectacle that is the 2007 Rugby World Cup. Welcome to the show, welcome to Bad Guys World Cup. We've had a lot of criticism, well not really criticism, but a lot of mail over the last few weeks about the show, not really having a lot of rugby guests on it, but um, that's all going to change this week. I'd like to welcome to the show, he's a uh, dual international really, a, a Kiwi rugby league uh, and rugby, and played rugby for England, uh, Len Jimmin, Henry Paul. Actually, um, yeah. yeah, good to see you. May be a problem. Just. So how are you? I'm good. Enjoying the rugby? Yeah. Yeah? Organising uh, a few things there. Toilets are out the back there if you need them. Oh, good. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, he's a legend of broadcasting. My mate, your mate, Paul Henry. Welcome. Yeah, thank you. <coughs> Fantastic. It's great <coughs> to be here. Well, it's great to have you here. You join the Rugby so far, World Cup, you're, you're sort of taking much, you know, an active role in, in, uh, in watching that? Yeah. More or less, yeah. But I think the bigger concern coming out of France at the moment, or well, the big news in that sense, is the death of Marcel Marceau um, earlier in the week. Should we speak about that? I don't, I, I, out of respect, maybe we should just have a minute of silence. But on a 50 minute show, I don't know if we can afford to do that, can we? Kerry? 10 seconds. 10 seconds, okay. I don't think the sponsors would appreciate that, Lee. Just 10 seconds silence for Marcel Marceau. What sponsors? That's why I'll probably cut that out anyway. Um, yeah, we do have sponsors actually. I might just talk about our sponsors. One of the latest sponsors to come on board, I mentioned a couple of weeks ago, I don't have one with me, or maybe I do. It's the Biomag G-String. So it's a basically, it's, it's a G-String made from the Biomag product, which um, sells so well on the mattresses, Paul. You know, you, you sleep on them, that kind of thing. Yeah, good night's sleep. And the Biomag G-String, Jason, is fantastic <laughs> for your long-haul flights, that kind of thing. I had one on a couple of weeks back when I was doing a, a research trip over to France, a long-haul flight. I was travelling in economy, but it felt like my testicles were travelling first class, you know? And that's what you want from the Biomag G-String. Even though you can't afford a first class ticket. That's right. At least your testicles get Yeah, your nice genitalia sleep. can. And exactly. it's very good for circulation too, apparently. It, 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 that's what it's all about, you see, yeah, yeah. circulation. So you don't find the little magnets? The placement of magnets would be important, wouldn't it? Only if you're trying to have kids. Yeah. You know, I mean, if, if, you're, if you're not mm. trying to have children, apparently they're, they're okay. The you know, magnets don't really affect anything down there, and it's just all about a good night's well, sleep. Well, I think, the, if I can interrupt control. you there, the magnets actually balance the genitalia. Mm. Uh -huh. So you can heal. be wide awake, completely on par, and your genitalia can be asleep. <laughs> That's the idea. That's the idea. And uh, we'll have one on the show next week to demonstrate <coughs> that. Um, Terry, you'll probably be doing that. Um, if I could just interrupt you there, Lee, because there are rumours around Paul, I don't know if you know about this, with um, Lee having been banned um, from conferences. Um, is that true? That's not true. That's the reason I wanted to show you this clip, right. to put it in, in, in context, what went on. Right. And that I'm not, in fact, banned from press conferences. I can, in fact, go if I want. But um, I'll tell you about it. We'll just watch this and I'll... The All Black Mystique has any, any sway at all over the world? Well, I think we certainly respect them the best in the world, and for us it's New Zealand, you know, they're the ones that we've always competed most strongly against. Uh, See, that's probably the incident you were talking about, yeah. okay? It just goes to show you, I mean, handling errors, etc. I mean, it's okay to, for the players to, to have 20 in a match, as I understand. Exactly. But have you seen that kind of thing? It's yeah. understandable, isn't it? Yeah. No, people can so easily make absolute asses of themselves at press conferences. Have exactly. you? Yeah. Not as spectacularly as that, I would have to say. Yeah. I think what's interesting about that, um, Paul and Jason and Matt, is that Eddie Jones is no longer the Australian coach, yet I'm still in sports broadcasting. So, you know, I think that puts it in perspective. It certainly does. Well, it's how you cover yourself. Exactly. Mm. And here I am, doing a top sports show, which I might just mention, we've just got an award for. You stuck that on there. It's a um, 
best sports, was, um, best overall sports show, 2007 World Cup, voted by the Independent Awards Series. So, <clears throat> what about you, Paul? Have you won many awards? You know, a few, uh, but I don't talk about them. I certainly don't carry them around uh, with me. One big issue I've noticed, um, Jason, mm. is, um, and Paul, of course, um, and I might even bring you in on this, Matt, is how many people, the All Black team, seem to be getting injured without even playing, mm. getting off the bus, Absolutely. around the hotel, warming up, etc. Well, Keith <laughs> Robinson hasn't played at all yet, has he? Mm. I'd have to agree. Mm. You would with the, you so you'd agree with Jason? In that, oh, well, I'm, I th I'm, at this point, I'm agreeing with Jason. I, I'm right. not committing myself to agree with him on a long-term basis, but certainly with, I would be uh, absolutely in your camp. Okay, mm. but if you agree to disagree with him, you let us know. Well, I reserve the right to disagree with him, of mm. course, Okay, obviously. I mean, that's sort of little hamstring injuries, it seems to be. Yeah. They're not warming up properly. Matt, you, of course, um, do a, do a mm. course in warming up, etc. Mm, yes, I and um, I certainly did. Pop through and show us now how to... Yeah, okay. Ooh. Okay. There he is now, coming through, gently warming up the glutes. Oh, yeah. Oh, hold it there, hold it there. It's burning, isn't it? Hold it there, hold it there. Is it burning? And then, of course, he's, he's, what he's doing now, he's doing the, um, the lower back muscle. Hold. Let it burn. And let it go. Lovely. Oh. Is there something that the All Blacks do, or is it just what Matt well, does? That's what they should be doing. Right. And away we go. Back in. Back through. Yeah. He's a good looking man, isn't he? It'd have to be said. Absolutely. And away we go. Keep it going all together now, in unison. And um, back to the gentle wind down, I suppose. Almost like a dance. Oh, a dance, isn't it? really, yeah. Yeah. Twa, let's go. <laughs> you can come back now, Matt. So, Paul, you a big exerciser? Not actually at all. Mm. Take my hat off to you. You don't have to be in peak it's sort of condition to, oh. to broadcast? Mentally you do. Yeah, mm. well, you'd know, obviously, you'd know all about that. Okay, if I could just bring it back to rugby, if we mm. could, um, Jason, there's probably a play of the week you looked over the weekend. Absolutely. Um,